English is a wonderful game and all of you can play it. Opines Mary O'Neill in his poem The Wonderful Words. Hello friends, welcome back to Rupa Ganesh channel of English. This is the first part of the series Fun with English. English is a unique language with many peculiarities. To create more interest and to draw the learner's attention towards English language, palindromes need to be introduced. Palindromes beautifies the language and also enriches one's vocabulary. So what are you waiting for? Let's start. Can you guess what might have Adam told to Eve when he met her for the first time? Madam, I'm Adam. Yes, if you observe the sentence, it is as same as you read from the backward or forward. So, Madam, I'm Adam is a palindromic sentence. Then, what are palindromes? A word, phrase or a sentence which reads the same backward or forward is known as palindrome. Here we have got some examples. First word, henna. It's a biblical character. It's a female character. So if you observe the words and the letters here, you can see they are highlighted in the same color. For example, here in this word henna, H, H, A, A, N, N, right? So it is same both if you read from the backward or forward. Noon, N, O, O, N, Air, it means before or earlier. Civic, we do say civic sense, we must have civic sense. Bib, B, I, B, so it means the cloth tied around the neck of the baby while it is fed. So if you observe the next one, never, odd or even. Here it is a phrase, so it is same both backward and forward. Was it a car or a cat I saw? So this is a sentence. So if you just try, it is from both the sign the same. Palindromes may be words, phrases or even sentences. Of course you may say there are palindromic numbers. For instance 525, 323, 1001, so on. But related to language, it is of it, we may say that it is of three kinds. That is palindromic words, palindromic phrases and palindromic sentences. So let's have more fun with palindromes. Here are a few palindromic words. I, that's pip. What is pip? Pip, it's an infectious disease. It also means seeds in the fleshy fruit. So there are many other meanings for that word. And next it is none, deed, peep, refer. Rado, Madam, Malayalam. Of course, that's a very tricky language, a good tongue twister. Rotator, Civic. What's the last word? Can you give a try to read it? Yes, it is Tetaratit. What's that? Tetaratit. So, that was the longest palindrome word in English. It has got two letters. This word appearing in the Oxford English Dictionary was invented by James Joyce and he used this in his book that's a novel Ulysses. And can you guess the meaning of that? It's the imitation of the sound of someone knocking at the door. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, if you want to go for a phrase which is palindromic, pull up, P-U-L-L-U-P, yes. 
we shall have some palindromic sentences do geese see god laminate pet animal are we not drawn onward to new era that sounds interesting right to add more color to make it more interesting here palindromic word has been introduced now your knowledge related to palindromes your vocabulary is going to be tested are you ready for this yes at the right side you can see the clues given over there in the grid there will be 10 palindromes the clues related to that is given to the right of that so here we go the first one it's heroic tales second first woman first woman next it is feet that is achievement it may also mean exploit fourth one holy woman fifth one look or io sixth one midday seventh one not sloping eight principles on which theory or belief is based ninth a part of the face tenth formal way of addressing a lady so just give a try and let's see how you are going to come out with okay and do remember the palindromes in the grid may be horizontal vertical or even diagonal how many palindromes did you get by this time okay come on try it i hope you got all the 10 palindromes in the grid let's have a cross check now then first one it was heroic tales the answer for that is sagas in the last row in blue color second first woman it's eve yeah it's in the third column in red color next it is feet or exploit for that answer is deed yes it's in the diagonal form you can see in blue color in between almost holy woman that is none that's on the second row in red color look or pio for that if answer is peep yeah it's from last it is in the second row yellow color then it is midday noon so noon it's in the red color in the last column level that's the answer for not sloping it's in the first row in a local law eighth one principles on which theory or belief is based tenet that's the eighth one you can see that in the second column that's an yellow color a part of the face very easy i that's in the first column in red color last one formal way of addressing a lady madam so that's in the last from the last it's second column blue color i hope you enjoyed the palindromic grid but wait there's more eva can i stamp bats in a cave did ayoni take it no i did a man a clan canal panama did henna see bees not it yes friends i hope you have added many words to your bag of vocabulary wishing you to have more fun bye take care